Here we are again in the rigging tutorials series. We are going to rig the arm of this uh, model and we are going to do this using always the X-Mirror modifier enabled. So every new bond that we are going to make right here in the left part is going to be created also in the right part. This is going to be our process. Now we need to switch to the edit mode and we can start and make our controls. So we actually want to use a inverse kinematic rig for this uh, tutorial series and we actually want to move this arm from here to here with a IK rig. So for this purpose I am going to select this bone and I am going to click E to extrude these two bones and I am going to constrain the transformation on the Y axis and I am also going to hit 1 minus 1 on my keyboard. Now we actually want to separate these bones from the arm because for now these bones are connected. We just need to select one and hit hold P, clear parent, same thing for the other bone, hold P and clear parent and now we can select this elbow bone and move this backwards because this is going to be our pole for the arm IK. You are going to end up with something like this and at this point we are also going to use some layers so let's go inside our skeleton settings and I'm going to select all the bones and I'm going to move them to the first layer and now we also want to select these bones and we are going to move them in the second layer let's enable this layer right here by shift clicking the second layer and now we want also to make a new bone group right here in this menu we can create new bone groups and assign some properties to them so let me head back to my pose mode by pressing tab and as you can see now we have the controls enabled and we can make a new bone group and I am going to call these controls. These controls are going to be all the bones that we are going to actually use to move our character and we want to assign the bones to this group and I am going to change the default colors of the bones to something noticeable so I'm going to choose this cool pink. Now we can also start to differentiate by color coding our bones. So this is also useful because we can just switch to the second layer, select all bones with A and make the bones not deforming by pressing Alt and clicking this checkbox so these bones are not going to deform the mesh. Keep this always in mind because this is very important and mm, sometimes you mm, end up with some uh, crazy moving meshes and this is the reason. Now we can actually start and make our first high K constraint. Let's enable again the first layer and I'm going to select this for harm bone we want to switch to the bone constraint tab and from this menu we can add a inverse kinematic constraint 
and always remember to increase the chain length setting we are going to use a2 and i don't want to use the stretch and name our bonds so for this purpose i am going to enable the display names right here and we can rename them properly let's go inside our bone tab and let's start to rename so forearm l control and this is going to be forearm r control and this is going to be the arm l pole and same thing for the other size other side arm r pole now we can select again our front bone and we can enable our target this is going to be our meta rig let me just rename this to rig and the bone will be the control l and for the pole we are going to select the rig and again arm l pole this is twisted by 90 degrees so we can fix that by setting our pole angle to minus 90 degrees and now we can test our high k constraint by selecting our for harm hell control and this is working pretty fine moving the pole is going to make the high k constraint point to that pole of course and this is one arm we want to do the same for this right part so let's make this quickly let's test this out and everything is working fine everything is working the way we want at this point i'm going to move to the hand rig actually let me test this movement also as you can see we can move the shoulders using the shoulder l and shoulder r bones and our ik constraint is doing the rest so now we can move on and start to rig our hand we can actually make a inverse kinematic rig for our hand or we can make a driver type of control like rigify uh, if you have never seen that type of control you have a bone that you can scale up and down and this scaling is going to control our finger bending so i actually going to make this type of control because you have already seen how to make a inverse kinematic type of rig right here and now i want to show you how you can make the same thing for the fingers but using drivers so this is going to be a bit more complex you are going to understand it quite well in the end so let's start and make the hand rig i'm going to separate this tutorial also because this is going to be somehow a long tutorial we see in the next tutorial for the hand rig okay bye guys